now. Good evening. Earlier this year, a report showed Hall Ambulance, the largest ambulance company in Kern County, has and is failing when it comes to response times. Now, Kern County's emergency medical service is under scrutiny. Today marks the first day of a hearing looking into their organization. 23 ABC's Leah Pazetti joins us now live from the Department of Public Health, where that hearing is taking place with how this could change our first responders. Leah? A good evening to you, Tim and Jessica. That's right. The state is looking into how well county EMS is doing because they believe there could be a more efficient way to keep people safe. Tuesday marks day one of a hearing where the state is questioning Kern County's emergency medical services structure. Currently, Hall Ambulance, Delano Ambulance, and Liberty Ambulance are the three responders in Kern County, with Hall Ambulance dominating as a monopoly. In February, the Department of Public Health presented information to the Board of Supervisors showing Hall Ambulance had failed to meet response times a majority of 2017. The state says that's part of the problem, but their main point is that Kern County zones are not eligible to be exclusive operating areas. The state says the county can designate a single operating area like Hall if services have been uninterrupted since January 1st, 1981, but they feel there has been an interruption. We feel that there has been interruption of service and that um, the local EMS agency should be putting out a competitive bidding process. The state says this is their first appeal ever, and it comes after Kern County submitted two different standard annual plans in 2012 and 2015 that the state denied. For the next two days, the state will be making a case to open Kern County to more emergency response companies, but the county will argue why the current system is successful. The judge will have 30 days to make a decision, then that decision will be taken to another state board to make the final decision decision. Once again, this hearing is taking place at the Department of Public Health. Uh, it continues Wednesday and Thursday, and it is open to the public. Reporting live from the Department of Public Health, Leah Zetti, 23 ABC. Leah, thanks. A former high school